Hey designers, welcome back to another episode of How to Draw Cars. Today, we're going to talk about gesture drawing. We're going to talk about what is a gesture drawing, who uses it, why they use it, where they use it, and why we might want to use it as car designers. But before we get started, if you're struggling to take your design and drawing abilities to the next level, or you're preparing a portfolio for application to a top design school, be sure to check out the tailored course program at howtodrawcars.net. Our students are winning competitions, getting accepted to the world's most prestigious design schools, and getting awarded scholarships to those very same schools. If you have the passion and are ready to take your skills to the next level, check out the tailored course program at howtodrawcars.net. So let's talk gesture drawings. What are they? A gesture drawing is the essence of something. It doesn't have to be technically perfect, but it captures the character it captures the emotion and it captures the essence of, in this case, a figure, a movement of a figure. So what kind of creative people use gesture drawings? Obviously fine artists do, painters, sculptors, people who are looking to warm up when they do a figure drawing will do gesture drawings for 15 minutes to get loose in the same way that a car designer will draw speed forms to get loose. Animators use gesture drawings, character designers. The whole entire fashion industry uses an illustration technique that is at its essence, gesture drawing. Architects can even use gesture drawings as a way to come up with new forms for a building. And of course, car designers can use them because we're always looking to capture something when we sit down to draw or start modeling clay. We're looking to capture an expression and a feeling. And gesture drawing is a great way to capture, like I was saying earlier, the essence of a movement. So what are some of our sources or resources that we can use for gesture drawing? Well, when I was in college, my girlfriend at the time was a dancer at a very prestigious school in New York City. And when I had the day off, I would go to class with her and watch her and her classmates move what they call move across the floor. And I would sit there and I would sketch this movement. And it was profoundly helpful to me when I came back home and started to draw cars again. So dance or dancers are a great resource to use for gesture drawing studies. And the other is sports, because sports tends to have a lot of big, open, bold movements that are fun and easy to capture in a gesture drawing. So what are the elements of a good gesture drawing? The first one, and probably the most important, is your line of action. A line of action is really the gesture that the figure is making in one line. But how do you turn this line into a figure or into a form? You add three more. The shoulders, the hips, and the spine. These make up the major axis of your figure. And then to create a volume, you connect them. And this creates the masses of your torso. The next thing you're going to add is the attitude of your head. And that's helped by adding a center line. And you can add the eye line as well. And then lastly, you would add your outer limbs. This completes the gesture and makes the drawing more dynamic. So now that we know what the elements of a good gesture drawing are, Let's put those into practice and do one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put in my line of action. The ski racer coming down the hill, right on the edge. I put in my head, my eye line, cause I've got those goggles to work with, my shoulders, my hips. I start to build my torso. I link those axes together and I start to build the mass of my volume. I add my outer limbs. And I'm doing this in real time. There's no edits here. And again, within a few seconds, I'm trying to capture the gesture of the ski racer coming down the hill. Now, another thing you should pay close attention to is the movement of my pencil. 
I'm not scratching along the paper. I'm drawing this from my shoulder using big, bold, swoopy lines. Hmm, I wonder where that would come in handy if I wanted to draw something else, maybe something with some wheels on it. I wonder if that would be a good way to draw it, like with big swooping lines drawn from my shoulder. Hmm, I wonder if that would be a, a relevant way to do a sketch of maybe, oh, I don't know, a vehicle. So this exercise, when you say like, why, why are you teaching us this? Why are you showing us this? It's because this is directly related to drawing cars. If you want to get better at drawing cars, get really good at doing these kinds of gesture drawings. You will see a vast improvement in your car sketching because you'll be improving your ability to see and to draw. And that's going to help anything that you draw, including cars. So in under two minutes, I've captured the essence of the movement of the ski racer coming down the hill using exactly the same techniques that I would use if I was drawing a vehicle. Let's try another one. Okay, so right back into it, I've got my line of action, right? And then I put in the top of my torso, my shoulders, and I'm getting a sense of that space across his wingspan, across his arms. Put my head in, top of the hat, the brim of the hat, and Again, just trying to get a feel for the spatial relationships between the parts. A key element of this pose is going to be getting the hips in relation to the shoulders correct because he's balanced on the surfboard with his legs crossed. So unless I capture that correctly, the sketch will not look believable. He'll look off balance. And if you see what I just did there, I drew a vertical line through the form to check to make sure that this figure was in balance. So now I'm adding my outer limbs, but I'm 30 seconds into this sketch and I pretty much already have what it is that I want, which is the essence of this figure balancing on the surfboard on the wave. So gesture drawings can vary in lengths of time. They can range from 15 seconds to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, Practice using different time limits and get a feel for how much detail you want to add. Obviously, a shorter sketch will allow you to capture the essence of it, but not add all the details. But don't get hung up on eyelashes and all this other stuff. That's not what this is about. Don't really worry about the details. Draw sections if there are clothing that is describing what's happening from a section standpoint, include that because that's adding valuable information the same way that your door cut lines add valuable information in your car sketches. Now, when I was doing the research, putting this video together, I came upon this paragraph talking, well, I'll let you decide what they're talking about. It says, this kind of drawing is all about capturing the feel of movement and fluidity. Pass up short, sketchy, straight lines in favor of long, fluid strokes using the motion of your whole arm rather than just your wrist to emphasize the action. Was that someone describing the best way to do a gesture drawing? Or was that someone describing the best way to do a car design drawing? Again, this is completely relatable if you want to get better at drawing your designs. If you're still with me at this point, good on you for that. It shows that you're curious and that you want to learn and that you want to improve. So please leave a like on the video, check out the other content on the channel, and be sure, of course, to subscribe. Here's another important reason why having a bunch of these in your portfolio when you go to apply to design school is really important. Because the people who are going to admit you or give you a scholarship to these schools want to see that you know how to draw, that you're not a one-trick pony and all you can draw are cars. So to have a book, a sketchbook, or a stack of these gesture drawings or figure drawings is going to help you immensely with your portfolio when it comes time to apply to a top school.
So just as I was finishing up making this video, this image arrived from Lamborghini. And it was exactly what I've been talking about. It is a gesture drawing, an automotive gesture drawing for their new race car program, which points out another great use for understanding and being able to do a gesture drawing is they make great teasers for your portfolio projects. When you have your book and the first image that the person reviewing your portfolio is going to see is an image like this, now they're interested. You emotionally hook them into seeing the rest of your work. So use automotive gesture drawings as teasers in your portfolio. The idea of capturing the gesture of a figure is exactly the same as capturing the gesture of a vehicle. The technique of drawing from your shoulder, which so many young aspiring designers have trouble understanding and have trouble mastering, is completely transferable from drawing figures, doing gesture drawings, to drawing lines in car design drawings. So practice your figures, practice these gesture drawings, do stuff that you love, do stuff that's, that, that's you're passionate about, sports and other things that you're passionate about, and then come back to cars and see if you don't improve. Let me know in the comments. Of course, ask me any questions. Please check out the courses on Udemy. The links are in the description below. As always, thanks for watching.